some good news passed along. You know, it's bad at first when you start hearing the story. And, and, and sometimes, you know, when you start hearing the story, you, your mind oh, yeah. run ahead of the story. Yeah. And your mind want to put something bad, you know, ahead of the good. Uh -huh. Oh, but when the good report comes. Yeah. Good news. Hallelujah. Yeah. When you hear that, all is well. Yeah. 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 It's something about here. Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory. Gabriel, look at him birth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And not our own. Yes. And able to talk for themselves. Yes. And ain't nobody talking over them. Amen. Hallelujah. That's enough to make you run, right? Yes, it is. You know, you put money in the bank for, they say, a rainy day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you save it up. But how many can say, I don't put a praise in it? Yeah. And somebody can say, I want to put a praise on it. Praise God. Praise God. Sometimes you just want to jump, shout, run. Sometimes you don't know what to do with yourself. God gets so, you know, it gets so good to you. Yeah. It's just, it, okay. Wonderful. You can say this, but it's a word from the Lord. Truly, we give double all your time, Pastor. Thank you, Jesus. Elvis, Ella Rousen, and his companion, Ella Johnson. And his companion and my partner in Christ and my partner in life. My wife. I thank God that we want to be obedient to the Spirit. Hallelujah. And one of the things uh, as, it, as the word was coming to me, it was ministering to me. And as the Lord gives me to minister to you, know that I am being ministered to as well. Praise God. And as I was reading on the scriptures, there's a song that came to my mind, and I'm going to ask Sister Christie and the young people sing it. I'm going to ask Sister Christie to help me out. The song is, I Don't Mind Waiting. Oh, yeah. There come a time when things get difficult. There come a time in our life when we don't know what to do. And we sit there. Mm -hmm. ha, glory to God. Thank you. And we're looking at the situation, and the situation don't seem to be getting any better. Mm -hmm. We was talking on Sunday morning doing the Sunday school, and we were saying that Jesus. You know, the tribulation, you gotta have patience. He said, But after you have had patience, yeah. good God Almighty. How many got a mindset tonight? I, I, I don't mind waiting. Yes, yes, Sometimes we have prayed for a long time. Sometimes we have been at the altar calling on Jesus for a long time. Yeah, God, hallelujah. <coughs> and you sit there and you say, Lord, I, I, I'm going to wait right there. <laughs> oh, God. That's it. Because we have some scriptures going to read it to you here. But the thought that the Lord gave me is be still. Hallelujah. Be still. Now, the word to be still don't mean you do nothing. That's right. word be still don't mean that you just go sit in the corner somewhere. Hold your head down and feel defeated. Matter of fact, that word still in the Hebrew is a word called Bashar. Oh, glory. Meaning to let down. In other words, give up your weapon. Why are you trying to fight? I believe the right to say the battle. It's the Lord. Yeah. 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 And it's right so 
sometimes we go through battles and we're faced with some difficult things, but the Lord is saying, lay down your weapons. Quit trying to fight these battles. Quit trying to fix people. Be still.
James, the first chapter. Verse 2 say, My brethren, count it all joy when he fall into divers temptation. Yes. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect works. Or oh, if you don't mind waiting, you're going to see some perfect works. That he may be perfect, entire, and warning nothing. I don't mind. Don't mind waiting. The reward is greater than the wait. After I've waited, glory to God. You remember when you were tired for the Holy Ghost? Sometimes I called it on him. You got anxious, Lord. I, I want it, Lord. I want it. He kept on waiting. Kept on calling. Sometimes I called it on him. Your stomach would hurt. Your head would hurt. But I'm waiting. I keep coming back because I'm waiting. The reward came. Glory to God. Hallelujah. How many thank God for the reward of the Holy Ghost? Mm. Be still. Be still. This message is it's almost seem personal. Things get crazy in life. And sometimes, Bishop, with a past like mine and things get crazy, you you remember some of the things you do that you've done to come up with stuff. And that old enemy will bring these things back to your mind. Stop it messing with you. And sometimes he calls people to come by that you know. It seems like you haven't seen them in a while, but all of a sudden, here they come. And you know, I knew all I had to do is just say something, and they would say, Well, Ray, let's do it. And I would go, and if I was foolish enough, I would have went and did this thing. And then I am, there I am, fighting myself and beat myself. Then I wouldn't have had the testimony that I waited. I wouldn't have had the testimony to tell you that if you just wait on God, he'll see you through. I would then have to face the fact that I didn't put my weapon down. I didn't sit down and be still. But I act on my own. And see, the last couple of Sundays we have heard some wonderful messages. One Sunday we heard Ever Rouson preach a message. Lean not to your own understanding. But acknowledge God and he will direct your path. And then Bishop came and he preached a message saying, I'm more than a conqueror. Yeah. See, these things take faith. Yeah. This is a faith walk. This is not something that we can always see right before us, but this is something that we have to be still yeah. and wait on God. Yeah. If we really want God to work, then we have to be still. Yeah. Now sometimes you can run out there and you can do it on your own. And you can make a mess of it. And then sometimes it might come out right. But God can't get no glory. Uh -huh. mm. I don't know about you, but I want God to get the glory of everything in my life. No matter what, what I'm facing. Lord, I'm going to stay. 
stay right here. Because I want you to get the glory. I want to be able to say, God, you brought me out. God, you picked me up. God, you turned the situation around. I want to be able to be still. <laughs> In the book of Isaiah, I'm going to read some scriptures into you here. Listen to these scriptures. Let them soak in. There's no need me trying to even read some of these words. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you about what happened a little bit. Here, in Isaiah the 30th chapter, now, the first word you see is woe. And I heard Bishop say one time, when you see woe, it don't, that, that don't mean you're getting anointed. It's not good. And from the 28th chapter to the, I believe the 31st or 33rd chapter, that is the fourth woe you're going to read when you start from the 28th chapter. Woe. Because the people was being rebellious. Woe. Here, it said, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. Listen at this. And that cover with covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. That's the word of God. That's power all by itself. I said that is the word of God. The problem is that sometimes we find it difficult to be still. We find it very difficult. We don't know why things happen the way that they happen. We don't know why God allowed a car to come out of nowhere and strike a vehicle that a sister standing next to. We don't know the Lord will bring them in, but just as soon as trouble comes, we'll try to run and save them from trouble. But you got to let God be God. Hallelujah. You don't know what it's going to take to draw them in there. Sometimes it may take that close to coming to death, but whatever it takes, Lord, you be God. Because yeah. I'm going to be still. Yeah. The problem is sometimes we keep putting our hand into mess and we create a mess. Sometimes we say, oh, Lord, one's sick and we want to do whatever we can to fix it, but sometimes the Lord just wants us to go somewhere and be still. And while I'm still, I'm praying. Why? Because, Lord, I need you to fix it. And, Lord, if I get in the way, sometimes God will move you out the way so that he can get the glory. Oh, God, help me to be still. Sometimes, you know, things get personal and they get close to you. And you only need that thing move. And we come and we sing songs. He's our own time, God. But yet his time is not like our time. Our way is beyond our finding out. Oh, yeah. I know he's our own time, God. But I need a proper fix right now. And sometimes that right now problem causes us to lose focus on the one who's in charge. Amen. See, we are confined by time. But he not confined by time. He created time. Before there was a wind in a way. The Bible said the earth was dark and void. And God stepped out of nowhere. He had no end nor a beginning. All I know is when he stepped into nothing, he created something. He's not confined by time. But the minute that he said, let there be time again. Let there be 
God. Yes. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, that car probably would have killed Sister Erica. On our time, that day happened fast. In God's time, it was slow. I saw it. Before it happened, he had already dispatched an angel. Matter of fact, he had said it in the mind of Cheryl, but the baby in the car and moved to your right. I got hallelujah. Because I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Sister Cheryl, the Lord knows the thoughts that he think towards you. They're good and not evil. Why? Because even if you expect it in, you can go ahead and sing that song. I'm going to see what the end is going to be. Well, you wait to see. I have the word of God that tells me. Oh, God. You can know what it is. All you got to do is read your word. And you can know what the end is going to be. But in between the time of the beginning to the end is, is warfare. Warfare going on. Warfare. If it ain't one thing, it's another. I either Sister McCall used to say I'm the same old thing. I'm quite sure those that are sick don't want to be sick. But I heard Apostle Paul. The Bible said he had an affliction in his body. He, he, he wanted the thing removed. The Bible said he went to the Lord three times. Lord, I need to stay moved. Yes, oh, but the Lord told him, say, my grace, yes, my grace yes, is sufficient for you. Yes, Somebody need to know grace yes, has been extended to you. Yes, you got to just hold on. Yes, all right. Don't worry. All right. Don't worry. Yes, just be still. Yes, be still. Yes, it's not the most easy thing to do. Excuse me. Not the most easy thing to do is to be still. Because you're telling me to trust God. But I'm about to put out, be put out of my house and you want me to trust God? They say tomorrow if you don't have your money, you got to go. And you're telling me to trust God? Oh, but if I can just be still. Because see, the thing about God, the thing that you can't see, I believe that same Apostle Paul said, what is hope? If you can see it. He said, if you can see it, it ain't hope. My God, the very thing that you can't see, that's hope. But it takes something to sit there and say, Lord, I'm trusting you. It takes something. It takes you having the word in your heart. Yeah. It takes you trusting God. Yeah. It takes you knowing that without, without God I'm nothing. Yeah. But the Bible told me something. He said don't think of what you should wear. Yeah. Don't even think of where you should lay your head. Yeah. He said but seek ye first the kingdom of God yeah. and his righteousness. Yeah. And all these things shall be added unto you. No matter what it is, it's sickness. It's tough to be still in sickness. Your body rocking with pain. Folks saying trust God. Other folks saying go to the doctor. But I thank God you got a testimony that you be still. You stay still and you saw the salvation of God. Now you can come and tell us if you can just be still. See, uh, you gotta, we talked about in Sunday school, you gotta be careful who you surround yourself with, too. You can't surround yourself with everybody. I said to the child, I said, I said to Sunday school, I said, they talk about don't be unequally yoked with unbelievers. You better stop thinking about that just out there in the world. Some of them unbelievers right here, too. And you better not be yoked up with them, either. Some of them, you praise the Lord, and you gotta keep on moving.
Stay with him if you want him. Weakness beget weakness. If you ain't got no strength, how you gonna help me if I get weak? The Bible said two is better than one. If one get weak, if you weak and I'm weak, who gonna hold who? Both of us fall. Going down. Then you go. I lean on you and you going down. What good are you? I want to surround myself with somebody when I can't pray. Can't go to God for me. When I don't know how to be still, I don't give them to know how to be still. Somebody that you don't mind telling you, be, be quiet. You know, sometimes you need, you need some friends. See, let me tell you, the problem is we can't take that. As soon as somebody say something, your feelings hurt. You mad? But let me tell you something. You need somebody in your life that can tell you, shut up. Every time I see you, you complain. You can't trust God for nothing. You can't trust God that that person can bring you a glass of water. And you see the water on the way. <laughs> see it coming. <coughs> you think it's going to make it? <laughs> you, you show she ain't going to trip up? What if they fall? No faith. I need to surround myself with somebody who can lift me up when I'm down. Somebody who can say, brother, we can make it. All we got to do is wait on it. And why are we on our way? Hallelujah. Why are we on our way? Something can happen. Hallelujah. Why are you on your way? My God, God can change the situation. All you got to do is walk in. My God, I don't know why I'm going, but I'm going to trust God by the time I get there. The situation going to change. You ever been going through something? Glory to God. You ever been going through something? And all of a sudden, you go, oh man, what? The problem gone. You didn't even know the problem had left. You ever came to church hurt? And you just get the weight in your head. Because you don't feel like standing up. And then all of a sudden, you look down. Good God. Can I talk about me? My knees. They told me, said, you got arthritis in both of them. And sometimes I get out of bed and walk. My God, it hurts so bad. I told Sister Dudley, I said, sometimes I don't know which one to put the pressure on. Because both of them hurt so bad. I'm still, it's almost trying to guess. Get up one morning. I'm trying to keep the stepping on the right leg. And the left leg was hurt. And I came here. My God, and I got on my knees. And my knees was hurt so bad. I had to get up and sit down. I didn't even want to stand up. But sometime during the midst of the service, I forgot about my knees. Why? Because my focus shifts. That's the problem with us. We keep our focus on the problem more than we keep it on God. But when your focus shifts, good God Almighty, all of a sudden I didn't know what was going on. I was jumping up and down. Well, this is what they found out about that. <laughs> Under the anointing. Yeah. Oh, boy, I jump, bounce. By the time I get to that car. <laughs> but I still say, Lord, I thank you for that moment of relief. Why? Because he let me know he's still my Yes. 
You say, okay. They say, Ray Gilly, you can't go in the prison system. You got a record. I say, okay. They say, you can't drive buses. Because if you got a felony, you can't drive buses. And Ray Gilly, you got three felonies. Okay.
coming at me. I'm tired of seeing my brothers beaten by drugs. I'm tired. I'm tired. So now, I'm no longer just coming to the altar, laying it down. I'm casting now. Tempted. Fonzo here. I'm calling out name. Lord, I'm giving them to you. I can't fix it. Lord, you can fix it. The problem that I'm facing, I can't fix it, Lord. I'm casting it. I'm casting on it. And the reason I'm able to do it freely is because I know you care for me. I know you love me. I'm tired of seeing my children lost in the sea. Lord, they know the truth. I'm tired, Lord. Lord, I need you. Save my son. Cast it on the altar. Save my daughter. Save my husband. Save my wife. Oh, God. And then, how do you get through casting? Be still. Be still. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Some writers say, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Wait, I say, on the Lord and he shall strengthen our heart. Wait, 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 wait on him. There you go. There you go. I'm waiting. I'm anticipating. There's folks I want to see saved. I done threw it on a halt. Now wait. You hear what I said? Now wait. You have put something on the halt. But you keep going back to get it. My brother Ray, I didn't go back to get it. Yes, you did. When you lay awake and you worried about it, you took it back. I told somebody, why you laying awake all, all night? Give it to God, he gonna be up anyway. You don't sleep, he gonna be up anyway. You might as well give it to him, your body gonna get tired, he don't get tired. You might as well give it to somebody who cares. Oh yeah, you might talk to your husband, that which is good. But some things you just need to give it to God yeah. and expect it. Yes. The Bible said before you pray, he said, I was already at you. Yeah, Your help was already on the way. Yeah. Sister Erica, before anybody can say, Jesus, yes, your help. Keep speaking death in the church. 
he'll do what? He that shall come. Did he come for you? Did he come for you? Did he fill you with the Holy Ghost? Did he heal your body? Did he deliver you when you was in trouble? When the doctor gave up on you? Let me tell you, I'm about to get out of here. But deliverance is available. Boy, Brother Johnson, I feel the Holy Ghost in this place. He come to destroy the yoke of the enemy. Some of us been yoked up too long. Yoked up to our problems. Yoked up to our sickness. Yoked up to family members. Just yoked up. And ain't able to look up. Because you're so yoked up, you can't even lift your head up. But I'm going to have to take it to the scriptures. Lift up your head. Oh, you can't. And be Sometimes folks going through 
some need somebody who done been there. Because sometimes they can relate to somebody that been in church all their life. Ain't nothing wrong with that because they need you too. Because they need to know that God is a keeper. But I talk because they know. And the one wonders to know why he tells his tell this story so much. Not that I can get the glory, but somebody needs deliverance. And God can use what you went through. That's what you got to forget about. Lord is me, oh Lord is me. Standing in the need of prayer. Well, you might need prayer. But God needs you to go through this thing. Because somebody yes. is going to be watching you. Yes. I have another scripture, but that's all the Lord wanted me to do. Be still, people of God. Be still. To be still, I wrote this down. It's like a moment of peace. Nothing is moving, but yet so much is transferred. I don't need to see it in the natural. I just need to know God is working. And he's working on your behalf. When you get up, Sister Johnson, and say, pray for the Johnson family, you are pleading the blood. Don't you know the blood still works? It works. But we just need to learn to be still. The reason I miss a lot of my blessings, I wouldn't steal. But the Lord kept saying to me this week, be still. I say yes, Lord. And then sometimes you find yourself trying to pick it up again. And the voice of the Lord said, be still. Sometimes your blessing is right there. And you run it because you're going to try to fix it. God said, just be still. And the scriptures say, and see your deliverance. I pray that the Lord has minister you because I needed that. He has ministered to me. Believe God. Have faith in God. Trust in God. Trust in God. Trust is because we can't take the pain. Sometimes we, we, we just mess up all together. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Y'all. So just let, let, let it rest in your spirit.